What up Misfitians? Welcome back to another video. I really hope first off that you are having a wonderful break. This should be two days before Christmas that I'm uploading this to all of you. So Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever y'all celebrate. I hope you are having a joyous and wonderful time and that you are just taking it easy and sucking in all of this wonderful joyous time. I absolutely love this time of year. I, first off, I love Christmas lights. We've actually gone to see our local Christmas lights at least once. We'll probably go another one or two times before they stop. But that is one of the things that I absolutely love is just lights and having lights all in my house and decorating it. So I just hope that y'all are able to enjoy this season. I know sometimes it can be stressful, but hopefully you are able to enjoy it. So that being said, you're probably noticing right now, this is not a painting video and I had one in mind. And if you're following me on Instagram, that particular painting that you have been seeing, um, in my stories is going to be a tutorial for this YouTube channel. I'm going to be giving that to y'all in January. So that is something for you to look forward to. If you are not following me on Instagram, you should, because a lot of times I'm posting behind the scenes stuff and also just stuff that I'm going and working on at the current time. So please go follow me over there. There's going to be more content on Instagram for behind the scenes kind of on a daily basis. I've been a little bit slack in doing that for the past two weeks, but I'm going to be get, getting more into that as 2019 comes around. So please make sure to go follow me over there. That being said, let's go ahead and jump into this particular video. And I really wanted to think back on 2018 and talk about 20 things that I learned for 2018. The very first thing that I learned from 2018 is I do not like granulating paints. The second thing that I learned was I absolutely love stretching my paper the traditional way. Another thing that I learned this year is I really like simplicity. I used to really strive for more realism and in my art and kind of push more towards that. And I think I just pushed more towards that realm because I had been told all my life that was the highest goal that you need to reach for in watercolor or in art. But that particular style never gave me joy. If it is a very simplistic illustration, I am absolutely in love with it. I love the process. I love everything about it. Everything about that particular style just intrigues me and makes me enjoy what I'm doing, which is something that you should always be looking for. If you are into more realistic art, go for it. Do what makes you happy in art. It's fine to dabble in other styles and learn from other styles, but make sure that you're not doing art because someone else told you you need to. Make sure you're also pursuing what you love and what you enjoy. The next thing that I learned over this process was I really enjoy animals. I knew that I always liked to paint animals, but this particular year I really loved doing my animals. I think it's good to kind of have a roundabout of everything, but that being said, I absolutely love animals. <laughs> so that is one element that I really discovered over 2018, um, more in depth of like how much I absolutely love animals. Now, one thing that was kind of shocking to me for 2018 was I really, really like elements of gold, glitter, and just iridescent in my artwork. I used to kind of think, no, I don't really like that because that's too quote unquote girly, but I'm noticing this particular year that I'm actually more drawn to those elements, but in very simplistic ways once again. Another thing that I learned was I really love using film to tell stories. Um, I always knew that I liked doing that. I really like the filming side of 
watercolor misfit but I also really like the art side of watercolor misfits so I'm constantly trying to figure out how can I combine the two because I like the elements of filmmaking and learning how to basically tell a story as well as teach those are two things that I'm really trying to figure out how to merge them together because I just personally like that style and I personally like doing that together. So I'm trying to learn how to merge those two together on my channel. Another thing that I learned this year is I cannot work in a messy space. So one thing that I figured out really early on at the beginning of the year was whenever I start filming, everything has to be in its special location. So everything has a space now. That's one thing that I have been doing all year. And I'm thinking about in 2019, making a video about how I've organized my art studio. One thing that y'all probably don't really realize because of how I film, my art studio is a very, very small bedroom. Um, it could really only fit well, like in its space, a twin size bed. It's meant to be like a children's room um, or a nursery. It's a very small bedroom. So I had to really make sure that I was organizing the space to its highest function or else I was constantly tripping over myself or tripping over just items. And if you have ever tried to work in a small space and it's messy, you know that it doesn't go as smoothly as you what you would like and me trying to remember the process of how i'm painting as well as trying to remember how i'm going to film this i needed that space very highly organized so that was something else that i was doing behind the scenes all year pretty much i would say i basically took everything out and started labeling everything and making sure that the whole studio was functioning as if it was a work setting. So that was something else that I learned this year that was very important to me. Another thing that I learned about myself was when I'm working in an environment, especially when it has to be creative, I really need the environment to look appealing. So as I was kind of moving stuff around and reorganizing the art studio, I realized that if it didn't look appealing to me visually or creatively appealing, I didn't want to work in that environment. I would move to another area of the house that I felt like did look creative and start working there. So that was another thing that was really interesting to me is I not only needed a space that was organized, but I also needed a space that was visually appealing that sparked my creativity. Okay, this next one was another life changing one for me. I absolutely love AirPods. So those little um, Apple earphones, they have been life-changing for me. Um, a lot of times my husband and I are on different schedules, we both work from at home, but he works at night because of his job and I usually work during the day. So it actually works out well because we're not really running into each other when we're working. However, that being said, I can't put music on um, during my painting process. And also that's another reason why a lot of times I don't film talking type videos during the day because he is usually sleeping during the day. So trying to paint without music for me was very challenging. And I would use earphones and, but when I was using earphones, I would always be hung up to my phone and caught with wires and stuff. So one of the things that I asked for for my birthday this year was little earphones, the wireless ones. And my husband surprised me with them. I did ask for them, but I honestly didn't think I would get them. And he did surprise me with them. And they have been life-changing. They are the best things I think that I have bought electronically this year for myself because now I can listen to music without being harnessed by um, wires. I'm free to move around and I can paint freely. I can even move into another room and then come back. It is absolutely amazing. So that was one of the supplies that I am so happy that I invested in it. Another thing that I really like about it is 
I can listen to podcasts. Sometimes when I paint, I listen to podcasts or I'll listen to audiobooks. Another thing that I've been trying to do that's going to be a New Year's resolution for me is I'm going to try and listen to one full book a, a month. Um, I need to get back into that reading mode. I used to read a lot. And so since I can now listen to the books, I can be doing two things at once where I can be painting and learning watercolor, but also I can be learning about artists' lives or other women who are entrepreneurs who I admire or self-help books or anything really, but I can listen to it in an audio form. So those have been life-changing for me as well. A couple of things that I realized I don't like is I don't like pan paints. So if y'all are interested in taking courses from me, I will only be using two paints. I don't like pan paints. I like the option of having two paints where I can have them dry or fresh paint, which brings me to my next point. I absolutely love working with fresh paint. So you're going to notice, especially in 2019, the illustrations that I'm painting they are going to be using fresh paint pretty much con consistently. Another thing that I have learned is I really like warm colors. A lot of times I'll paint in cool colors, but I would say warm colors are the ones that actually appeal to me the most. And I really like more of the warmer pinks and peach tones as well as golds. So you'll probably notice purples and golds and peaches um, are very much colors that really inspire me and I want to work mo more of those into my illustrations. Another thing that I learned in 2018 is I am entirely too hard on myself. So a lot of times over 2018 I would not release videos because I felt like they weren't up to the caliber that I wanted. And so instead of making kind of a short and simple video where I just sit down and talk to you guys kind of like this, I would just not do a video and I would feel really depressed and feel like I hadn't done my job because uh, it wasn't to the caliber that I wanted. And so why even put a video out when I had failed on the first project? So that is something that I learned about myself that I don't like and I want to change. Um, if something is not up to the caliber that I want, it's not that big of a deal. Just set it aside and do something else and do something that is more fun. And if it's not fully put together, it's okay. So giving myself more of a break to be more creative, test out things, even destroy things, um, and just be allowed to make mistakes and allowed to let it not be perfect. Anyway, I love y'all a lot and I will be back in January. I'm going to take a couple weeks off to just chill, relax, and enjoy my little family, which is my puppy and my husband. And um, I'll be back in January. If you want to know exactly when, please make sure to follow on Instagram. I'm going to be posting here and there, even though I'm taking time off from YouTube, I will be posting on Instagram. So once again, follow me on Instagram <laughs> if you want to know what's going on behind the scenes. All right. I think that's it y'all. And I will see you in January of 2019.